Hello viewers and welcome to today's video where we do a review of a 17.5 spec motor that I bought uh, way back in December. And this review has been kind of long awaited. Uh, right in the box, it will be a surprise opening to see what we got here. 17.5 10th scale 540 sensor brushless motor. It's one of these little blue guys, fixed timing sealed motor you see there no timing now in the instructions it did come with an instruction sheet it does say it doesn't have any brand on it sometimes goes by the brand of hobby star so i think it's just an oem machine put the specs on it 17.5 here i'll get up my my pointer 17.5 we expected to draw about an amp, free spin. Um, expected to have about 2200 kV. Just put that aside. So let's just jump right into it. Let's hook that up to the motor analyzer and let's just see what what timing this has. So it's fixed timing, but it doesn't say anywhere on it what the timing might be. So let's just hook it up here to the analyzer. Let's see what we got. Could have a hidden gem here. You can see that it's fresh from the package. It has not been soldered. I'm going to see how quick we can do these videos. If you like these videos done quick, just mention in the comments below. So let's go with the motor timing setting. Jump right into the motor timing. Uh, typically a fixed timing motor is around 45 degrees for a stock motor. So let's just see what we get here with this one runs nice and quiet that's one good good sign this is averaging 26 degrees timing so the timing on this is actually quite low let's just write that down on the sheet here the timing 26 degrees okay well let's just see what we got for kv let's see if it's within the spec it says So the KV for is 2900 at 2 amps. So that's actually pretty impressive considering it's only at 26 degrees timing. Let's just make a note of that on the sheet. Timing 2934 at 2.1 amp. So, so far, very high, very high KV considering the, the timing setting in this motor. Let's give it a resistance check and see what, what it has. I'm going to use the the MMS complete. We'll go MMS mode. And what this will do is... Is this touching? Okay, just restarted my, my MMS complete. Let's just double check the resistance. Now this resistance will be across... It's a across two poles it's 19 19 milli ohms on the button now a typical racing grade uh, motors resistance would be around 8 18 milli ohms so slightly high but it's still within a good range let's take this motor apart and see what's inside okay so in here we have three end bell screws and it looks like the rest just comes apart so let's just take the end bell screws out and see what we have. Take out the three screws. So it does have three inbell screws. It doesn't have any other screws in it. So with that, we get the front bearing. And there was a shim there. I'll just put it in the order it came off. Another shim in the front. Little paper, little paper tray there. And now let's see how it comes apart. This can slides apart. You can see here's the back. Another little paper filter. There's some shims inside. 
we'll just push the rotor straight on through. There's the rotor. Now the can, very thin aluminum can, came apart. And there's the stator. So nicely welded. It looks very short stacked there. Maybe that's part of the maybe that's part of its high RPM. So maybe this magnet is quite light and allows it to spin up. So let's just check the rotor strength. Now for something that's spinning up that high, what I would expect is a, a rotor probably in the 1500 gauss range. That would be like a high RPM rotor. A 16, something around the 1600 range. Let me just put a pinion on it, just to make it easier to hold. So I have my, we'll just use the MMS complete again. I do have a rotor tester attachment. You've seen the video where I've used this before. Uh, we just click it, the RMS mode. And now we'll just zero it. Now we'll put the, the rotor in. Um, so what I, what I do with it is I try to find the, you can see it's about a 1500 Gauss rotor. 1515, 1520, 1535, 1540, 1549, 1550. I'm not sure that we'll get more out of that. So it's about a 1550 in one direction. Let's flip it over and see what it looks like on the other side. So that's about a 1550. So that is, that is a good, pretty strong, high RPM rotor. So between 15 and 1600, they would call like a medium. The 1650s are around us, what they would call a high torque. And then when you get over 1700s, it's for sure high torque. So this would be considered a high RPM rotor. Let's just write that down on the sheet. 1550, I think it was minus 1530. And around there. So for this little motor here, the 17.5 no, blue can rotor motor, it was about 26 degrees, which was a surprise. I thought it was going to be closer to 45, so very, very low timing. But the KV was very high, 2,934 at 2 amp, surprising again, and a good high RPM rotor at 1550 okay well we made it quick you guys get to see the see the motor in action so tune in next video and what we'll do is we'll put a high torque rotor into this motor and see what kind of results we get see you next time